Welcome back to another video. Dogpack404, the big exposer of the Mr. Beast stuff, dropped a new video. I work for Mr. Beast. He's a sociopath. Uh, this is uh, a sequel to the critically acclaimed uh, original film of uh, I Work For Mr. Beast, He's a Fraud. So uh, a new video that I have up here, uh, I Work For Mr. Beast, He's a Sociopath. So people in my chat keep telling me there are war crimes in this video. Bullshit, right? Like, there's no way. There's no war crimes, okay? You want to say that he he sometimes gets people to smile in front of the camera and uh, and expose people by by pushing pushing people into into situations that they're uncomfortable with and and he'll help a homeless person and then tell the homeless person now fucking smile at the camera, goddamn! I believe that. I believe that. Why is chat saying war, war crimes? You're literally pulling my leg. There's no war crimes gonna be exposed in this video, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, so uh, dog pack 404. Holy shit! This this ride keeps getting bumpier. All right. Apparently there are war crimes. Okay, let's see. I'm hungry. All right, jokes for food. I, I wish a philanthropist YouTuber would just give me 10k and not film it. And not film it, lol. He's really going full content cop on this shit. Oh my god. Hey, hey, what the hell happened to you? Mr. Beast, that's what happened to me. What we do here is go back, 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 all right, who is this? Ha <laughs> Jake Weddle. Crime acting erratic on shrooms. That's just gonna be the excuse every time someone gets fired by Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast fires someone, they just get fired for being erratic on shrooms without evidence. I, I do recognize this guy. He's been in old Mr. Beast videos, right? Okay. Content cop from Timu back at it again. Hey. Before again. Oh my fucking god, dude. Okay. Content Bro, Ian Jamba, my wife's boyfriend lets me wear it sometimes. No, the, the strays, the strays. Cop from Timu back at it again. So just before I get into my interrogation with former Mr. Right. employee Jake Weddle. Uh, Ready. A lot has happened since my last video. I would say uh, so. After posting like a hundred. Multiple ceases of desists, many messages, whistleblowers. Uh, Mr. Beast edited 83 of his old videos. I have the list. I've been, uh, I've been combing through it, trying to see what he actually deleted, looking at the internet archive, looking at his, uh, content with deleted shit. So, uh, he, I have evidence, <laughs> he deleted content of 83 of his old videos trying to cover up past shit. Of messages from former Mr. Beast employees, yeah. um, and I had them all, like, send proof of former employment. You know, oh, just shit. people showing their support or uh, Just watch your video, not about Chris. Big thing, blah, blah, blah. Telling their stories of, of you know, fake videos or... All right, fake videos. We all do that. All right. Unsafe practices. All right, unsafe practices. All right, all right. Uh, you know, toxic workplace, stuff like that. All right, toxic workplace. Yeah, yeah all right. Uh, I'm not really going to get into those claims because, oh, for oh. one, like, most people want to stay anonymous, which I understand. I, and, sure. and also, like, I think most of that stuff's just been covered with, with you know, the news coming out about Beast Games and everything. Uh, and yeah. also, I have, like, more serious allegations that I want to start covering. Oh, God. Uh, also, I heard from a very credible source that Mr. Beast has been sitting on a response to part one uh, because he was worried if he posted it, I would instantly respond with, Oh! <laughs> that sounds like classic uh, YouTuber tactic. The response video is already made. The question is, is it better to post it or ignore it? But the responses are made. I I will have you know, okay? All right, this is exposing the inner workings of the Nuxanor mind. I have exposed videos on people made that I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna upload. <laughs> I am ready. I'm sitting on that shit. Okay, listen. <laughs> So I know what he's talking about. They for sure have that crap. They for sure have a video already ready to be made, already ready to upload. But what are you gonna do? He's gonna upload it and then part two of the video just completely shreds him. So I believe that. Part two, you know, like a, like this is Kids Bop, Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. Uh, yeah, also, true. I know Mr. Beast. See That's a fantastic analogy. Holy shit. Holy shit, fantastic analogy. Oh my god. Certified lover boy, cert certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Wop, 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 Mr. Beast. Secret CEO has been practically like harassing my people on, you know, hey, what's in part two? What What does he know? Um, That's cute. So I will just oh, tell you, James, what will be in part three so you don't have to harass my people. It will be about serious allegations of, of sexual misconduct uh, in the company. Oh my god, that's part three? 
So we're not even getting into that here. So big part three of the Mr. Beast exposed shit is sexual misconduct. Holy, this is like the actual Lord of the Rings trilogy. They started off with the Fellowship of the Ring, proving that the videos were fake. They moved on to the Two Towers, which is probably going to be all sort of sociopathy, um, just basically treating people like props. That's my guess for what this video is going to be, treating people like props, trying to optimize people's um, tragedy for content. That's that's my guess of what's going to be going on here. Uh, and then I guess part three, Return of the King, when it's fucking sexual misconduct shit. And your direct involvement in covering up those crimes. Yeah, very, very clever, allegedly added right there. We, whoo. Uh, and I'll make sure to give you full credit and, and plaster your face all over the screen when we talk about that. Uh, oh, that's nice. So yeah, I've gotten dozens of messages. Dude, you just know Mr. Beast is doing a fucking watch party the second this video drops. This from former Mr. Beast employees of, of uh, very serious allegations. Oh, so God. I just want to put a call to action in this, at the start of this video that, you know, if you have a story, you can DM me. Just uh, make sure you send... Uh, proof of employment first because I get a lot of DMs. Dude, and Mr. Beast had a lot of employees. I don't see how he's going to be covering this shit up. Oh my God. Uh, and like, as much as I meme and joke around, like, I take anonymity very seriously. So without explicit permission, I don't Respect. go public with anything. And obviously, if it goes to court, I don't, I would hope they would censor your information from the court documents. I don't know. Uh, I respect, I respect the grind. I respect how he's handling this, honestly. Like, so far, in part one, he didn't really release any private information from anyone, right? He didn't even break his own NDA, as far as I'm aware. Oh, and... Mr. Beast was in the live chat. There's no way Mr. Beast was in the live chat. Former contestants, too. That's another thing I heard after posting my last video is uh, during the 100 boys versus girls video, uh, I have people corroborating the same story that the, the camera guy who gave the girls a drone was making some girls feel uncomfortable. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I know in the 100 Boys vs. 100 Girls video, they fed us that they fed us boys hours after the girls each time. It really got on our nerves because it came blatantly obvious they wanted the girls to win. I know that the camera guy who gave the girls the drone was extremely inappropriate with the girls since I started talking to them after the shoot. Made me feel very, very uncomfortable. Oh, oh, that's gross. Ew, ew. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Listen, uh, bro, Mr. Beast's studio somehow just became Blizzard HQ 2.0. Somehow. You, know, you, you trap these girls in a circle and, and make them sleep on rough turf and, and get them high on paint fumes and then, and then you try to f*** them. No, 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 no. Mr. Beast's production crew trapping 100 girls in a circle, depriving them of sleep, starving them, and trying to bang them. No! Okay. That, <laughs> <laughs> that seems really dark. Though. No, no, I mean, it's not dark. You're misunderstanding me, bro. I'm, okay. I'm, I think I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> because if the girl said no, then the answer obviously is no. No. But the right. thing is, is she's not going to say yeah. no. She would never, never say no because of the implication. Oh, that's awful. This is so bad. Wait, hold up. This is awful. Is this, please tell me this is alleged. This isn't real. Hey, anyway, so... Ooh. All right, so that, that's pretty bad. I, I guess, again, we wait with the sexual misconduct shit for part three, all right? Part two, focus on the sociopathy. That will be part three, so, you know, uh, right, Mr. Beast, right. do with that information. I, I don't want to sit here and start the speculating about part three until part three is actually out. I don't want to sit here and start talking about just this one little uh, beautiful nugget of information, but holy shit, Blizzard 2.0, like... Work at workplace harassment, except you have a hundred random female subscribers trapped in a circle being sleep deprived. This is insane. This is like this is like workplace harassment times fifty, allegedly. God damn. Information what you will. I know uh Chucky didn't want to respond to those allegations. So anyway, my interview with Jake Weddle, um, I chose to interview him because I thought he was perfect because he was both on camera and behind the scenes Ooh, in 20... Okay, yeah, so he was. Jake Weddle's that guy from the intro that was in Mr. Beast videos. 19 and 2020. And also, what people don't know is that he came back in 2021 to be the sole contestant of a Mr. Beast video, which never got uploaded. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because it went very badly. It went so badly they didn't even upload the video. Wait, does that count as fraud too? Like, if they never ended up uploading the video that he was in, that doesn't that technically, like, kind of scam him? Again, it depends on the contract. All right, let's see. Uh, he also knows about another um, portable document format. 
He knows of another? Uh. Who, who was working at Mr. Beast while, while actually on the registry. There was a pedophile on the pedophile registry that he knew about, that he had at, in his videos around kids all the time, allegedly, according to this guy. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and I'll get more into that story at the end of the video. Uh, so right. I got his DM, nice. That's drove exciting. straight to New York overnight, did not sleep, just drank a bunch of caffeine. And, and I also only had one uh, microphone in the interview, which he's wearing. So it's mostly just him talking. Also like final thing, people said my last video started slow. This video also starts slow. It, it, it you know, it builds up over time. Yeah, all right. I'll do the retention thing and say, uh, the ending will blow your mind. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. So he's gonna get to the, the pedophile shit at the end. Oh, I don't like this. Why do you keep saying Blizzard 2.0? Because apparently people that worked at Blizzard were like all sexually harassing each other and sexually assaulting each other and shit, allegedly. Like they, were, they got into like tons of lawsuits over that. So I'm just imagining Mr. Beast's crew right now is like fucking Blizzard again. Uh, Jake Weddle, everybody. I'm Jake Weddle. Uh, most Hi. people who- uh, Nice mustache. Uh, if, if you know me from Mr. Beast, I'm, I'm a deep cut. I'm in a few of the videos. Uh, uh, sometimes maybe purposefully kept to the shadows a little bit. I'm, I'm uh-oh, this is not good. I'm in the cutting room floor a lot of the time, uh, but I've, I've been in some videos. I've worked on a lot of them. Uh, I was there from 2019 to 2020, 2021-ish when I came back and did some more. I, I was there when they were- uh, They were cutting him out of videos for stealing all the breast milk from the public fridge. Authentic, and then I saw the transition. That was a Blizzard reference for those of you that are unaware. There was a Blizzard employee that was stealing women's breast milk. ...to what I feel like is a company. He's like a TV show now. It went from, it went from YouTuber guy with a camera to uh, Amazon. The culture around there was very unspoken, but there was a vibe. There was half the people who, if you made Jimmy happy, Aww. you were on the good half. It ah, let's go. The nepotism alliance. It is the dick suckers and the regular human beings that don't like being manipulated for a living. Guess who's treated better by Jimothy Breast? And these people got random bonuses and oh, uh, uh, were usually moved up, had more screen time. Oh, oh, they give you screen time based on how badly you brown nose the guy. Wait, you if you deep throat Jimothy Breast, he gives you more screen time in videos. He is implicitly tr tricking people into sucking up to him. Like, this is scary. This is some Caesar shit. Uh, and then there was people who, if you had a disagreement or butt heads with Jimmy or just, you didn't like it. You know, you were the other half. This is like Homelander. I'm like listening to this guy describing how Homelander runs the seven and Vought. Like this is the most insecure shit I've ever heard in my life. And I, I believe it. I think he's just probably just right. Dude, you see the deep fondling Homelander's testicles and Homelander su suddenly doesn't treat him so badly. The deep does one thing wrong and he has to eat his girlfriend, the octopus. Okay. Like this is Homelander shit. And, uh, I consistently was in the half that Jimmy did. Jimmy doesn't like me. That's fine. I don't like him either. It's okay. Uh, oh, that's just uh, something to say. I don't like Jimmy. I, I hate you so much. Uh, he did oh, God. Oh, God. We're really... Oh, fuck. Oh, good. We're going good faith here. Good faith interview, baby. Oh, shit. I didn't want anyone to... I'm just letting you know. I'm going to try to look at this objectively as possible. All right? I know people, people don't like nuance. I'm going to try my best because it seems like these are all allegations. Unless there's evidence, which is undescribable, un undisputable evidence, sure. But I am just telling you... Right now, in advance, I'm going to try my best to look at things from both perspectives as much as possible, but I do not want to see a Mr. Beast video. I hired a $1 hitman versus a $1 million hitman to take out this guy. I don't want that video ever uploaded. Get Stop saying war crimes! Jimmy didn't commit war crimes, okay? Come on! Or did he? More popular or have more of a, a way out, necessarily. Like, oh, I'm doing my Twitch thing on the side. Don't do that, because you could get famous and leave. And Bro, this is- that's Niji Sanji's strategy too! They don't let their talent do certain things to make them individually famous. Because if they do get individually famous, then they could just leave Niji Sanji and they'll be famous. This is the- this is wild! This is Homelander not letting the fucking A-Train get W's because it makes A-Train popular enough and no longer need to live breathing Homelander's testicle particles. Talk about me negatively. Uh, and I could tell that the Yes Men were, you know, doing well. And uh, I was, you know, disgruntled uh, for quite some time. <laughs> so I've talked to reporters, right. right? Like publicly. And I've always had to choose my words very, very carefully because- No shit. They'll break your kneecaps. 
because that was a joke. I don't want to say anything I don't stand behind, obviously. So I used to talk to people. I used to glaze Jimmy publicly for things I do genuinely think are true. Yeah, you got to, you got to. You gotta glaze him, bro. Dude, every time I think of sociopath Mr. Mr. Beast shit, every single time. Every single time. Um, I think of this clip. Here, let me see. Uh, my podcast manager sent me this video, and I can't unsee this video, all right? I, it, like, this is, in my mind, classic sociopath Mr. Beast moment. We're here with her. All right, Mr. this Bra is Mr. Beast and Tommy in it, popular Minecraft YouTuber. Um, not sure if he was an adult yet at this point, but anyway, <clears throat> he uh, he he wants him to promote his Mr. Beast burger. Okay, you have to see this clip. This is important to describe the sociopathy of Mr. Cleep. This is a Homelander moment. Rest. Uh, how are you? How are you? Looking for the short oh, oh, we gotta stand up and do it. Yes. Wow, you have no know. regard for a. Review the Mr. Beast burger. Look at it, Jimmy. It's juicy, is it not? Can you give it a little sort of blow for me? That was strange. <laughs> now we're going to be burger reviewing in three, two, one. Okay. Wow. Oh, God. Oh. If you don't say that too, it's amazing. You're an idiot. Oh. Oh, God, he doesn't like that. He's trying to promote his stuff. Arrow Mage, thanks for the five subs. What? This guy's playing it up. He's just trying to get a barrel short. You're insane. That's fine. You know what? From this day on, I will never become a Tommy ever again. Fuck, dude. That... Is that a joke? Or is that a threat? He's on camera. I'm a free of Alright, Oh, God. Like your content? Like your burger? Like your moon? Like your burger? Like your face? Like your burger? Like your face. <laughs> then it was time for me to do a little burger review for his channel. Mate, we're doing a burger review. Burger review. We're gonna see if Tommy likes our burger. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. You know what, Timmy? Best burger you've ever had. It is a 6.5 out of 10, baby. <laughs> uh oh. Keep <laughs> he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. <laughs> what do you not like about it? I, I bet. I bet. Uh, Tommy and it was probably blacklisted right after this. I bet right after this, Tommy and it was never seen with Mr. Beast again. Yeah, no, it's great. It's a great, great it's burger great. you've ever had. It's the greatest burger you've ever had. No, but I like. What do you not like about it? And remember, this is being filmed. Okay, this is Tommy in it trying to be friendly with him too. Simply because he's the biggest YouTuber on the planet, okay? What do you think of Tommy in it? I have no opinion on Tommy in it. I've never really watched his content. It's free. No, you have to tell us why it's just six out of ten. Well, I'm a vegan. Cut. <laughs> he is seething. Guys, guys, he's very nuts. I'm completely overexcited about it. It's gonna explode. Right. You can see the exact moment I realized that my jokes are not landing. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could you could put it that way. Right here. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. And then he kicked me out. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, that's that's American psycho shit. So when I hear that uh, Mr. Jimothy Breast himself um, is a sociopath and definitely manipulates people for the sake of fucking uh, videos and shit. Like, it doesn't surprise me. Like, obviously, he wants to promote his burger. He's not going to take any form of comedy. He wants you to say that it's the best thing in the world. Uh, By the way, Mr. Beast also just released his new toy line. Like, I think today. But then it's like, well, how come you didn't talk about the working conditions? Well, I wanted a career. I didn't want to... So anyway, the point that I'm trying... The reason why I brought that up is you got to glaze Mr. Breast publicly. If you don't glaze Mr. Breast, you become enemy numero uno. All right? So that's why this guy, even though he didn't like Mr. Breast... He he literally did a whole fucking thing. Mr. Breast has toys. Yeah, it's a brand new thing. Brand new thing. Just in the last, like, few hours. You as know, far as I know. Speak ill of YouTube's golden boy, and then I'm blacklisted forever. I, I, I tell people I was talking to you, and they go, Don't, what are you doing? You're going to kill your career. It's like, I have to, or I'll be sad. Uh, this is, Bro, this is actual therapy for this guy. What the fuck did he go through? The moment we're going to talk about it. So, uh, as far as that, uh, that's my covering up of why we didn't talk about XYZ sooner, but now you know. Well, no shock why you didn't talk about it sooner. <laughs> you didn't want to be the subject of a $1 Hitman versus $1 million Hitman challenge. You didn't want to do the $10 lawyer versus $10 million lawyer challenge against Mr. Beast in court. And no shit you didn't want to say this stuff. What, what would you say is the fakest video that you worked on while you were there? Fakest video that 
I worked on while I was there. This is the extent of the, the fakeness that I was involved to. This is right. uh, admitting to my complicity. I was a writer there and we were working on a video, uh, Crushing my friend's car with a rock or meteor or- Oh, I remember that video. Or uh, something, it, it was a rock or a meteor in the title of it, I can't remember, but he wanted to do a prank where unbeknownst to the person, he takes a rock, crushes their car, and they're supposed to think a rock came out of space. We're gonna take a meteor and we're gonna put it on Weddell's car. We're gonna take another meteor and put it on Marcus's car. Both of them have no idea that we're doing this. That's bullshit. Obviously they know that they're doing this. That is a hundred million percent bullshit. Like get the fuck out of here. Uh, so that's an obvious fake video. I don't know why people haven't called him out on the fake videos in the past. I guess it's because, you know, he did so much stuff. He did so much philanthropy. Why start beef with this? But yeah, that is mega, super, super duper obvious fake, right? You can't destroy your friend's car and buy them a new one legally, okay? I can't legally rob you and then give you more money later. Weddle and Marcus are probably shocked. They had no idea. They're probably shocked. Says they they wrote the script for this video. Weddle was the script writer for this. They're probably shocked. Yeah. Yeah, they're so shocked. Elvanis, thanks for the sub. Idea. The five subs, rather. And so that was the one and only time I had to Huh? My car? What? And on the fly, I saw him, uh, because Marcus was in that video. So Marcus is calling his mom. Marcus genuinely had no idea. He was, he was he genuinely had no idea, but. Uh, so Marcus is calling his mom, and his mom's freaking out. And I'm like, oh no, they're gonna call my mom next. So I had to text my mom, who had to beg to get the title very quickly. Now she, I'm texting my mom, I go, I go, mom, I'm about to call you about the meteor thing. You have no idea? Be surprised. What a freaking legend! Oh my god! Bro, what a hero! See, but obviously it's fake, right? Obviously fake. A lot of these pranks, videos are always fake, right? But the fact that Mr. Beast has been like defending it for so long is insane in retrospect. And then I hit send and then they go, call your mom now. <laughs> and I call my mom and I tell her, and oh, she should have got the Oscar. Oh my God. Oh, oh what did you she say? Goes, what? I'm on vacation. Mom, my car has been um, destroyed. Wait, what? <laughs> a meteor hit it. Jacob, I'm on vacation. Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, what a legend, honestly. <laughs> What a legend! Let's go! W mom! Big mom W! But uh, yeah, I did that video and they- See, but the thing is, these videos are either fake or crimes, right? Like, wh when you look at it through that lens, either it's fake video and they staged it and they knew that they were destroying his car, or it's a crime. You just destroyed someone's car and then gave them a present later. That is illegal, okay? You cannot do that. You can't destroy shit and then do them a favor afterwards. Supposed to give me 10k to put a down payment on a uh, new car, and they wanted me to get like a big flashy new car. 10k was supposed to be a down payment. Wait, they didn't even pay for like a whole new car. They just gave him 10k. But you can't get a flashy new car for 10k. What? And uh, I can't afford a big flashy new car because I work at Mr. Beast. <laughs> so. Uh... Oh, that's sad. Imagine <laughs> I'm working at Mr. Beast, so I can't afford it. Oh, that's rough. I, his car was probably worth 10k. His car that was crushed. I, I couldn't get anything. I couldn't afford the taxes on. I couldn't get anything. I couldn't afford the insurance on. Um, so I, I do my part of the video, and I get a mom van that I could afford. And uh, Jimmy was like, "Why nice. didn't you get a cooler car?" I was like, "I what do you? I can't afford that, bro. Come on, what are you talking about?" Wait, and he wait. So he destroyed. What, what the fuck? Hold on. He just he destroyed this guy's car. Gave him 10k because, you know, he fucking destroyed his car. And his job was to get a flashy car for the sake of Mr. Beast's content. Right? And when he got a car that he could actually afford with that 10k, Mr. Beast was upset. It couldn't, it wasn't good enough content for him. <sighs> you know, if I was working on a TV show in the 90s, on a show that was a quarter as successful, I could retire today, but. Yeah, but you weren't, you were working on a YouTube video. You were working on a YouTube video owned by one guy. Now I make dog shit pay, uh, making gajillionaires more. This is crazy. It's like, it, you watch Mr. Beast videos and it's like giving $5 million to a random person. And this is my employee, he's broke. <laughs> uh... For money. And uh, I just walked into the writer's room. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I left was because I just walked in there uh, and asked for not necessarily a gajillion dollars, but maybe a salary that was more proportional to the work I was doing given oh how much revenue God. that work was doing. 
Uh, and then, you know, I, I talk about that, and I talk about the Writers Guild. You asked for a raise? Okay, we'll kill you now. ...and how this is what Writers Guild Industry Standard is for the streaming internet content with ads. I thought that was the closest thing to YouTube, and I didn't even bring up residuals, because, oh my god, if I got residuals for every video I worked on, Boy, how did I get retired, but... See, the thing is, uh, again, I'm trying to be as honest and nuanced as possible here, uh, even though, obviously, huge dick move by Jimothy Breast, giving away millions of dollars, but simultaneously not giving your employees good salaries. That's crazy. Um, this guy doesn't need to work for Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast should tell him, listen, we're paying you an exposure, all right, which is a red flag, but listen, we're paying you an exposure, we can't really afford much more, or, or maybe we can afford much more, but we don't want to afford much more, find a new job, but Mr. Beast didn't really seem to do that, it was like gaslighting him to think that there was fair. Uh, 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 yeah, I, the, la the other thing I talked about was uh, there was another writer there. I, I can't even imagine that, it wouldn't have even entered my mind that Mr. Beast's, the people on Mr. Beast's shows, the people that are actually in the videos, are broke like I, I that that's mind-boggling to me mr beast literally cultivated this fucking image of the most benevolent charitable philanthropist of all time just literally like you'd see his videos where he'll just turn i love you random citizen pulling a full ass metro man out of his ass giving random teslas to random quote-unquote random people like bro never made a video i paid my employees five hundred thousand dollars he made videos I gave random schmucks that were probably family members $500,000. Uh, older comic, uh, black guy, he had a kid, and uh, I got paid more than him, and I thought that was wild because he was older than me, had a child, uh, we're doing the exact same job. Was that just casual racism allegations? There was me, there was this black guy, we had the same job, I was paid more! Make of that what you will! <laughs> oh god! And uh, well, I'm some 20 year old fucking white guy, why am I getting paid more than him? I brought that up. And uh... One of the things I, I didn't like about the way some of the V-stuff shook out was... Talk about. No. What the fuck? This is traumatic. He's not just talking about a bad experience. Like, he is going through stages of grief. Huh? What the... I feel, I feel really guilty about the way this, like, shook out. Um, Wait, what is going yeah, on? Yeah, I was talking to like, this is, this is bad! This is very, very bad! The writer, Mike, it's, it's fucked up, you know, that that's how the pay is, and I want you to get paid more, you know, because you deserve to get paid more. You know, I don't have a kid. Um, and he didn't want to rock the boat. He, he desperately didn't want to rock the boat. He just, just I, I like my job. I like, you know, because when you, when, you, when you grow up with, you know, nothing, not to say that he did, but I know I did, you know. You get a little something, you don't want to lose it. Oh, my God. So he didn't want to rock the boat. What is happening? What the fuck? But he said, hey, man, if that's how you feel, you know, like, if that's, like, I, you know, I trust you. Um, he, he stood with me. He went to that writer's, he went to that meeting with me. And I said, I said my piece, and he backed me up. I said, I need X, Y, Z, or I'm out of here. And they said, bet. And they gave me a severance check the next day. And they gave him a severance check the next day. And if I knew... What the fuck? They fired the other guy, too? He said that, listen, I need X to survive, and they're like, no problem. And then they just fired him. And they also fired the other guy for no reason. What the fuck? It's like zero, zero fucking empathy. What? If I knew he was gonna lose his job too, I wouldn't have done it. Oh my God, I, I am very uncomfortable. Holy shit. Me? He asked for a raise and just got fired and also fired his friend. I, I, I can't believe this. What, huh? I was over the moon. I was like, you're going to give me a, a, a check and I get to leave? <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, get to right. leave. You get to pay me to leave? To literally leave Mr. Beast's concentration camp? That's huge. And then also happens to fire his friend. With the, with the, yeah. How many Orbeez can I fit up my asshole every day? You know, oh, I, I get to go, go home and you get it. You're going to pay me to leave. I was over the moon. And he was devastated. Dude, I'm used to getting canceled by association. This dude got fired by association. I never heard of this shit. Listen, uh, technically not illegal, but fucked up. Like, fucked up. And people are looking at this guy as like an actual savior. Actual savior giving random money to random people. Also terrorizing his quote-unquote friends. 
He did not want. I said he was like this happened years ago. This happened what he said 2020. This happened four years ago, and it's literally bringing him to tears just by talking about it. Probably because he was silenced. He wanted to be in the room, you know. And I really, regret, I really regret that. Oh but, my god. You know, me and him were really still tight. We're still good friends. Is he doing good? Yeah, he's doing good. He's 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 a good guy. I love that guy. He's doing good. Fella, yeah. So maybe you feel better. Honestly. Best thing I could have done for him. <laughs> yeah, in retrospect, that, that's still not the point. That's not the point. He's a very, very far removed from all this crazy shit, I guess. Do you think Jimmy it was like Starlight wants to leave Vought and Homelander just, you know, decides to kill Black Noir for the sake of it? Really enjoys doing good and helping people. I think Jimmy wants to be the best YouTuber. I think he is laser focused on yeah. one goal. Yeah. Um, and I think I got the same impression. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, this is a this is an industry that definitely highlights and promotes sociopathy. Like you want to get the fakest reactions, you want to get the the realest emotions, right? So this is a this is a a system where every upload needs to be even bigger and crazier with wilder reactions than the last upload. Like as a hypothetical, I think this is exactly why Logan Paul ended up doing his forest video, filming someone that took their own life in a forest. Because he needed every video to be better and bigger than the last one. He he was har harassing people in America. And then he needed to go harass people in Japan. Then he needed to fucking commit crimes. He needed to harass people in Japan in temples. He needed to put old seafood on random taxis in Japan. He needed to go harder and harder every single day. Every single day. And, uh, and that absolute power corrupted absolutely and brought him to the point that he did the forest video. This is the Mr. Peace... This is the Mr. Beast uh, grind set. Like, every video needs to be even bigger with even even wilder reactions and even bigger stakes and even crazier challenges. Whatever he has to do to achieve that goal, he'll do. And and with zero ethical boundaries. Like, this is actually crazy. Like, this is, this is how AI is going to fucking take over one day. Oh my God. I think it was the smartest decision for him that he calculated because he's very good with numbers. If I donate to charity, people can't say I'm shitty. If the charity defense, the charity defense. I will donate all of my money to charity. That way, anytime someone criticizes me for exploiting homeless people, I will simultaneously remind them of all the charitable work that I have done. I will simply step forward into the limelight as the hero that this country deserved. They will criticize me for using homeless people for views, but how could they because I've given them a roof to sleep under? They will criticize me for destroying my friend's car, but how could they? I have paid them an exposure on my YouTube channel. They will criticize me for committing war crimes and violating the Geneva Convention, allegedly, but how could they when the people that I have violated have been recompensated in every possible way? They will never have any criticism against me when they see all the houses in Africa I've built. They can't blame me for polluting a lake when I have saved the oceans of the world. They have nothing on me with charity as my defense. Okay, was that, that, was that monologue a little too real? I feel like that monologue was a little too real. Anyway. If I donate to, if I get- Chandler, eat Carl. <laughs> Chandler, eat Carl. Eat fucking Carl. Eat Carl. Fuck the dog. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm going too hard here. I'm going too hard. I'm going too hard. This homeless guy, 10K. What do you mean I'm a bad guy? But I've always thought- I don't know. I felt like doing it with the Homelander background music was just- I, I had to do that monologue at some point. Someone's gonna clip that and I'm gonna get so fucking destroyed. <laughs> oh, God. Some... I have to always have in mind- Okay, but hopefully no one clips that part, okay? Do not clip it. The nice for somebody and you stick a camera in their face while you do it. It, you didn't do a nice thing for somebody. You, you gained something. You, there was a homeless guy on the street and you saw an opportunity mm -hmm. for yourself and your image. And you gave one guy $10,000 who needed it to eat. And now the revenue you ge generated from that video is way more than what you gave. I think when he's generous on camera, it's the least authentic thing in the world. There, there, yeah, there's no an shit. element of... Obviously, the, the camera thing, it's all stunts. It's so obviously and purely stunts, right? But the thing I've been saying for a very long time is um, 
Mr. Jimothy Breast, if he gives a homeless guy $10,000 and films himself doing that, but actually gives them the homeless man that money, ultimately, I can't, I can't hate on him for that. Because while the charity defense is a defense, it's actually not a terrible defense. Obviously, it's not altruistic. And the people saying that that he uh, he does it purely good-heartedly with good intentions, well, those people are dumb as shit. I'm not going to sit here and make believe he's a good guy for it, but ultimately, I'm not going to sit here and criticize the action of it. Um, yikers. Yikers! You know, oh, hey, you're crying. That's so good for camera. You know, I'm so glad he's... If you're yeah, crying sure, because you're sure, so thankful sure. that you got X, Y, Z, and then you go, oh, that's so, I'm so glad he needed it that bad so I could... Ugh, it does sound gross. It definitely sounds gross. But everyone always is out there for the right footage. Like, are you telling me that when people walk in for interviews on Hot Ones where they're, they interview celebrities while eating spicy wings, they fucking want their mouths to be on fire and fall off. They want to make them cry. And they'll say, no, 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 I, you can do it. I don't want you to cry. I'll make sure you don't cry. Bro, of course they want them to cry. That's where you get the good footage. Now, this is, I think, manipulating emotions, not just pain, which is why I think this is even worse. Uh, I do think that that is a popular mentality, and you want the crazy reaction for the content. But yikes. But yikes. It it could definitely hit incredibly gray zones. Come in and, oh, can, you, can you cry more? Oh, he... Uh, uh, there's no way he actually asks people, could you cry more? Can you be more grateful? When I give you this money, can you look at me and say, thanks, Jimmy, you saved my life. Do you think he puts that script in people's hands? Looking at it from this perspective, I bet he does that. This is Homelander going on, on fucking Instagram Live with people. I, I, this is despicable, if true. Oh, God. So good for the camera if you could, oh, it just, it, it made me uncomfortable that I was working there. And uh -huh. I didn't like it, and I vocalized it sometimes, and I think that's why I wasn't on camera as much as they said I was going to be. Yeah, well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, so he's claiming they also lied to him, and they cut him out of videos, which is like, imagine saying, all right, we're going to pay you an exposure and then cut you out of videos, not even give you exposure. Yeah, right. That's that's a bad look. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> someone goes up to Mr. Beast and is like, ah. J J J Jimothy Breast, can thank you so much for these $10,000. It's the only way I'm going to survive. And then Mr. B says, say that again, but this time give me a hand job while you're doing it. You know, I, fucking, I can just, you know, I can, this is crazy. This is insane. Uh, I was told at one point that I was going to be like fourth banana. You know, it was going to be Jimmy, Chris, Chandler, me, you know, and then that never happened. And I remember talking about that. Like, hey, I thought my contract said XYZ. Uh, yeah, oh, we... violated the contract? Question mark. Got the severance checks, so you know. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a bingo. Yeah, whatever. How that regard. So after your severance checks, how was your relationship with the company? I know you appeared in videos after that, right? Right. So, so in videos where I was uh, appearing in later, that that's why you keep nice publicly. If you, if you're nice. Right. You have to be nice. That's your only chance of getting back. All right. You, you want to get back in the good fold of the breast. The bosom of Mr. Breast. That sounds good. If you want to get back in the good fold, the nice guy fold. You must be nice. You must say positive things only. You must rate my burgers an 8.5 at least. In public, hey, Jake was nice in public. Let's have him back for something. You know, yeah, sure. Uh, so I was... I... So you, you're literally paying people through, through this stuff. Like, this is the reciprocity I talk about a lot when... None of the people in Mr. Beast's big videos, like, 50 YouTubers compete in this and that for this and the other. Like, those people, um, those people, suspiciously enough, are not negatively talking about Mr. Breast. Now, I don't think they're paid off. A lot of people say that they're probably paid off. I do not think they're paid off. I do think that it's involved with the reciprocity, uh, that they know that they're not going to shit talk Mr. Breast or they're never going to be in another Mr. Breast video. And Mr. Breast videos get them a fucking billion more viewers in an instant. So I do think that there is a sort of reciprocity thing as to why some people don't want to talk about this and why they'll end up kind of glazing him in places where maybe perhaps they should be criticizing him because they don't want to lose that connection. Um, I believe that all these things could be simultaneously true. I don't think they're being paid off. Just like he gives drama alert inside scoops, because Drama Alert is constantly glazing him. GameStar will keep glazing Mr. Breast, and he'll keep getting inside scoops. More and more inside scoops. 
that's the reciprocity stuff that I, I'm talking about, you know? I was hoping they call back, you know? And uh, I, I appeared in some videos after I left. I think one of them was a, a, a three days in a maximum security prison. Uh, if I did do mini challenges in that, I got paid. I was, you know, clocked in with a... With <sighs> the mini challenges are starting to look really sussy too. The rates and the, I would get paid and compensated for those. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was one video I was in, I got, I got paid a lot for it, but it didn't, uh, it, it didn't come out. Uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't come out because it didn't go well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What does that mean? It didn't go well. Was the content not good enough? Could have given the video to Ludwig or something. Like, or given the video to him. There, there was a video um, oh, shit. that came out probably like a year ago, something like that. All right, everyone in chat is spamming war crimes. What the fuck? You, I, I imagine you're not serious, okay? This is like, a, I took five YouTubers and dropped them in a sovereign nation to kill as many children as possible. I, I don't, I didn't want to imagine this shit. All right, get out of here. It was, it was the, uh, it got a lot of hot water when it came out. It was. Mr. Beast, YouTube star Mr. Beast paid a man three hundred forty thousand dollars to spend twenty one days in a windowless room, according to his new video. Okay. The, uh, the like surviving like a uh, ten thousand dollars every day you spend in solitary or surviving solitary for whatever it was just, it was like one of those solitary confinement videos that got a lot of media attention because everybody saw the premise and thought what you shouldn't do that yeah that's why solitary confinement is in fact a crime and if people don't know that was the second attempt wait so they fucked up the first time on him and they learnt off his mistakes and the mistakes they made with this guy to film their actual video? There is no way he's not under an NDA. This guy's getting his ass sued off after this. Oh, fuck. I bet the moment Mr. Beast saw this guy on Dogpack's channel, his butthole clinched so fucking hard. Uh, the, the first attempt was on me. Oh, my God. That's him. Dude, listen, I mean no offense at all when I say this, but you should you should shave your mustache. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, anyway. And it, uh, it didn't go well. What the fuck? He's getting... Oh, my God, the change in his cadence. This, this like, actually traumatized this man, didn't it? I, I was already... It's like... Oh my, I'm scared. Oh my, I am not comfortable. Oh shit. I was already planning on uh, moving to New York and I had worked at a couple of YouTube companies after Beast. And I had a little bit of change in my pocket, you know, the most change I had in my pocket ever, you know? Small potatoes, you know, compared to Beast bullshit, but you know, I thought I had enough to, to move to New York or whatever. Oh. And uh, I, I get a call uh, from somebody over there and they go, hey, they want you for a video. I was like, oh, amazing, great, cool, thank God. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, needed the money. All right, let's go. All the glazing must have worked. Uh, well, they, well, what's the video? And they tell me the print, the pitch. And they, they, they try to make the pitch sound like it's going to be like a walk in the park. True, true. This is how I, I start collabing with YouTubers. I'm like, hey, guys, we should uh, we should collab. I'm just going to show you funny scenes. And then the funny scenes are like cursed and shit. Like, whatever, as a meme. But I imagine this is a lot worse than that. Uh, the pitch is uh, 100 days in solitary confinement. Uh, but don't... What? People in maximum security prisons that kill other inmates get a week of solitary confinement. A hundred? I am like, I don't know, man. I am not comfortable at all. What the fuck? Don't worry, like you only have to last like 30. We have like a video. They're pitching it like a, oh, it's, at first it's going to be like a luxury vacation. You're going to have like a hot tub and your ice cream machine. And like part of the video is going to be you deciding like, what, what, what items am I going to get rid of, you know, today? And it's like the choice. Oh my God. The classic, uh, the classic Mr. Breast video. Choice. They were like, uh, it's only going to be bad for maybe the last like five days tops when you have like nothing left. You're the first, it's going to be like a breeze for most of it. Oh, this is horrendous. This is, this is horrendous. I hate the fucking little mini challenges that get thrown in the middle. And uh, by the end of it, after 30 days, you're going to get $300,000 because it's $10,000 a day. And I don't know, man. I grew up poor in North Carolina. I said, excuse me. Oh, 
dude. He was offered three hundred thousand dollars, and of course they're gonna frame it as good as possible. If they sue this, if they sue him for this, they are fucking blackhearted. What the fuck? You, I'll yell dance for you if you put that kind of money in my face. Sure. Right, that's the classic Mr. Beast trope. You, you dance, I dangle the money. Sure. All right. They were like, you're gonna be locked in this room and we gotta make sure you're on all the time. We're gonna have cameras on you all the time and you're perfect for this because you never shut the fuck up. Uh, Hilarious. Yeah, on, on paper, I'll Well, this, this is not bad for another reason. Not only does he get the money, but he also gets to show his personality to people. This, he's paid an exposure to. I was like, okay, I can do this. Dance, peasant. And I was a he can't even jerk off. Don't worry, guys. There's cameras on you at all the time. Any jerking off that you do will be saved for future revenge porn purposes. That was a joke. They always, they always cut me out of the videos. They always, and that was, you know, editors have told me that uh, it's because you have too much of a personality. That makes sense. Mr. Beast uh, is known to dumb down his personality for videos, specifically because he wants to be as bland as possible so every single person in the universe could relate to him as just this arbiter of justice, this moral Jesus character. And so with this video, I thought, this is perfect. It's a video they can't cut me out of. Yeah, he's the only guy. He's the only fucking guy in the video. You can't cut him out of it. He's finally going to get his exposure. And payment? I'm getting scared. I'm the guy. And so I thought, well, if I have to do this, if I have to do solitary confinement in order to do the things I want to do, then I will do that. That I held my tongue and I swallowed my pride and I tried to do one, one, one last ride. Oh, no. Uh, and uh, I get there. And at first it's fine. And uh, I mean, they, they just freshly painted the set. You could smell it, you know? Which, that's probably not good, you know, the smell of fresh paint. Wait, wait, wait in what your... the fuck? They locked him in a room in solitary confinement with no windows and shit? Freshly painted so that it smells like paint? Are you joking me? Like, and the paint, the smell of the paint is never gonna leave because there's no windows, he's in solitary. That's probably toxic. Isn't that toxic? That's like actually toxic. All right. Uh, paint, fumes, toxic. Breathing solvent paint fumes for too long can cause headaches, dizziness, and nausea. This can ha- Oh my god, it's so bad! This can happen in a poorly ventilated space! <laughs> Solitary confinement! <laughs> or when large areas are painted or stained. Yep! Yep! Oh god, are you joking me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, they, they put him in a freshly painted solitary confinement room? He, he has headaches, dizziness, and nausea locked in solitary confinement for 100 days? This is awful. This is, this is unbelievable. What the fuck? Today, we replicated the Holocaust for $1 million. I, I, this is fucking crazy. Oh my god. Again, no evidence. This is just an allegation at this time. Okay, I'm just making it clear. Clear, just an allegation, no evidence. But like you see him heartbroken just remembering this, right? Surroundings for the next XYZ time. Uh, it looked good on the visual. It looks good on camera. You know, it's movie magic bullshit. Right, right. Terrible right. You, you can't, the cameras don't pick up the toxic fumes. I mean, he was in one of the studios. The, they had to like get like a separate like tank for you know septic stuff uh yeah there was a hot tub in it right. yeah there was an ice cream machine all right like all things right. look were sure. cool and funny on paper and on camera because he's selling this idea of uh, paradise to kids right he's selling this to kids because kids they they think oh my god you get an ice cream machine and a fucking uh, hot tub and solitary confinement this is the dream this is like a vacation we wish this could be us for for three hundred thousand dollars that's incredible right like that's he's selling this to kids oh god but when you think about stuff all right a hot tub that's not connected to a filtration system oh my fucking god you're joking me smells like shit and it's probably unhealthy all right huge give it three days it's gonna stink oh you my know god. if there's oh not a, like a hot water mechanism so the, the hot tub was a lukewarm tub at best no hot water which i was a silly complaint but the shower was always cold and you, you're taking like a quick how is this a silly complaint this is a they sold it to him like it would be a, it would be a five-star vacation you just can't leave a room shower 
and, and I had cameras 24 seven on me and the ice cream machine. Let's talk about that for a second. The ice cream machine has two modes. All right. On. All right. Oh my fucking God. Oh Lord, no. And off reeking of smelly dairy mildew like this is this is a nightmare this is worse than prison this is worse than prison they couldn't pay for a water heater an ice cream machine that is either on and loud or off and rotted and stinky like guantanamo bay didn't have this shit the cia is taking notes from this video like, so I got to choose which sense was assaulted at a time. I, I couldn't have all of them good. Uh, no, either either sound or smell. I had to be attacked. Uh, so the, the little thing started... And on video, it's like, oh my god, he has a hot tub and an ice cream machine? Build up, you know, there was like a, a, a... The bug thing wasn't like terrible, but it was a factor. And like at first it was fine, you know, and you're, you're, you're playing it up. like. You know, <laughs> Today we locked five contestants into Asmund Gold's bedroom for 24 hours. Uh, uh, my bad, for a hundred days! It's a video, and it got to a point where like they weren't they weren't turning the lights off. You know, I asked them. What do you mean? Like not even at night? What do you mean they weren't turning the lights off? I said, can we like have like nighttime hours? You know, and they said no because it would fuck up the time lapse shot. They wanted the time lapse shot to just speed through a hundred days of footage. So they didn't turn the lights off. Isn't sleep deprivation a crime? Sleep deprivation. Is sleep deprivation illegal? Holy shit. Okay, it could be of sexual nature, whatever, Not that's not it. Or they can be of a psychological nature, like sleep deprivation or prolonged solitary confinement. That's exactly this. Under international law, torture and other forms of ill treatment are always illegal. International law. This might be a war crime. I mean, again, ultimately it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't for torture purposes. It was for content. So maybe you could twist it to not be a war crime and just be, you know, a crime. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Or maybe because he consented to be there. Since he consented to be there, maybe you can twist yourself out of it. But this is fucked up. I am shocked. I'm shocked. Right? Because you see the time lapses. The time lapses are all very well lit. Right? But he could leave at any time, even though he has peer pressure to stop him from leaving at any time. The time lapse of what? Me sleeping? Or me not sleeping? Yeah, I saw in other videos they did a. a like, oh, you're going to get XYZ hours of sunlight. Oh, great! Why well, don't know how they figured that one out? I didn't have it! <laughs> Oh my god, he was literally the guinea pig to see how far they could push humans until they broke! Hi guys, I'm Jimothy Breast here. I have tested all of these on someone beforehand, so we know the human mind can in fact survive this treatment. We will give you exactly the least amount of shit we can in order to make you survive the following challenges. We can decide to call this off at any time, but we will be peer pressuring you into continue following, not the Geneva Convention, the Geneva Suggestions, ladies and gentlemen. All war crimes will be done ethically and morally under Jimothy Breast Incorporated. God damn it, bro. You know, one of the things was you got to take away your clock so you didn't know what time it was. Right? It just gets worse. This literally gets worse and worse. Okay, I got no access to sun. I got no access to clock. I don't know, like... And you don't even know when 100 days passed. You just sit there. The, the, the lights are on me all the time. I wasn't sleeping. I, I... Why couldn't they fake this video? Hold on, wait a second. They faked every other video except for this one, allegedly. Every video gets faked. But this one, because they didn't fucking like this guy. 
They decided no. This one, this one, this one. They not fake. I could not sleep, and I I have insomnia problems now. Um, it, but I still suffering from insomnia three years after. I they might have started there. Oh I my had good god! People looking out for me. <sighs> this is he actually has PTSD. He actually has PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder from this shit. He is suffering talking about this. I had a lot of good people looking out for me saying, this, this, we gotta stop. So I, I, um, I just wanted to turn the lights off. And I'm, I'm vocalizing to people, I wish the lights would turn off. And I go up to my friend, my, 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 my good friend. Oh my God. And I go, I go, I go, they're not turning the lights off. He goes, what? That's a war crime. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, but then you realize that, oh wait, it actually sort of is a war crime. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that to terrorists. Oh my God! Yes, the United Nations considers sleep deprivation a form of torture and a war crime under the Geneva Convention and the UN Torture Convention. They have a torture convention, and I wasn't invited. I am a masochist. I should be invited to the torture convention. This is awful. This is fucking terrible. Holy shit! Oh, oh, good. He's like laughing in delirium. He's. He is suffering. I, I've never seen a video like this on YouTube exposing someone. <laughs> 24 hours breaking the Geneva Convention, I guess. Geneva Convention? Really Geneva Suggestion? This is what we're doing. Um, so, you know, they, they're, they're giving me, you know, melatonin. You oh know. my god. They gave him sleep drugs instead of turning the lights off? I can't believe this. It's not helping. You know, and then, and then Jimmy would come in, like, oh, every other day savior. for like an hour. Yeah. Right, Jimmy's out there filming videos, playing poker with streamers, and, and saving the world, launching new chocolates. While he has this man literally being tortured! In the background for another video! I'm, I'm actually shaking. I, I can't believe this. You know, to check in on me because he's doing other stuff. You know, I'm just the, the guy in the cage over here. He'll come back to me in a minute. Oh my god. Uh, and so he'd come by, he'd get the shots, he'd leave. Uh, sometimes he'd have a note for the director over the phone that would really piss me off. This is the note I got from the director, oh from god. Jimmy, uh, when I'm receiving some cash. Uh, he said, uh, Jimmy said, uh, can you say to the camera how thankful you are that now you can pay back your student loans? Oh, <sighs> whatever it takes to be the number one YouTuber, <laughs> whatever it takes. This is Homelander shit. Imagine being fucking tortured by the guidelines of the Geneva Convention and getting a note. Please say to the camera, thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Please. Th thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do? You're not going to do that? You're not going to do that? He's just not going to pay you because you're not following his instructions. How hard it was to do a take of that. And he has to do that take. They pretend to make it genuine. I don't want to have student loans. I don't want to be in a cage. But Jimmy's the guy with the money, and if you, if you do what he says, he'll do what you want. Oh, you, you know, oh you want your student loans paid off? You just be in this cage. I, I can't believe it. I feel so terrible you for have, this man. You have power over people. When one person doesn't have resources and the other one does, and they, they hold it over your head, and you go, of course, of course, yeah, I agree to it. If they dare sue this guy, if they dare sue Jake Weddle over here for breaking NDA, like, that's actual fucking awful. That's That's the worst thing ever. I needed it, of course. Just something about like... But they were literally torturing him to do it. He needed the money. But... This is fucking terrible. I, I like, I, I, my, my heart is like breaking for this man. <sighs> Having the cameras up me all the time. Like I was, I was, 
I was not having a good time, but we were filming a video. So I was trying my best to be funny, you know? I'm, I got, I, I'm a dark comic, you know? I, I, got, I got bits about, I had a very traumatic life. Uh, I have, my, 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 my dad is in jail for sexual assault of a minor, you know? Oh my fucking God, this, this poor guy. This poor guy. I, I, I'm in so much pain. I am in so much pain. Willy Wonka Jigsaw, true. What the fuck? So this kind of stuff is very near and dear to my heart. You know, I don't fuck around with this shit. Yeah, I, I have jokes about that in my act. You know, I, I joke about it because, you know, that's what you do in traumatic experience. You no, know, I... Yep, yep. You turn trauma into comedy. Defense mechanism. Uh, abusive relationships. I get out of it. The first thing I do is I, I do a type eye about it. You know, so I'm in this situation where I... And you just know none of that's making it to the video. The video got scrapped after all this, right? They didn't even... They didn't even release it. Him acting all jovial and comedic while being fucking tortured for days and then they just <laughs> they just don't release the video I, my, my mental health is not good my physical health is getting worse but we're filming so i'm doing bits <laughs> i'm talking to the camera <laughs> and i'm being you know like hey it's been a couple days i'm not doing so hot you know which if i'm filming a video that's what i should be doing for the camera but it it was it was too real <laughs> if they're faking videos why couldn't we fake this one you know, if, if, if we're allowed to let these cast members have some time off of, yeah. of, of this difficult challenge. Right, right. For, for some reason, they, they end up faking videos for other people, right? They showed a video in the last one of his where they were allegedly faking that video on the boat, stay on the boat for seven days, whatever. And they literally left the boat in the middle of the video to sleep somewhere else, not on the boat. Why didn't they? Why didn't they do this for him? He's in solitary confinement. Why didn't they give him, I don't know, a phone, maybe? Or, I don't know, turn the lights off so he could sleep? That's why they got him for the video. Because, well, he vocally didn't like Mr. Beast. So they got him for the video. Because, well, if we're going to test our torture routine on someone, it might as well be on someone we don't like. I, I, I can't believe this. Like, we're on YouTube filming videos. We're not working for television networks, so we don't fucking have teams there to make sure that everything is safe, okay? We don't have the crew that films Survivor to make sure that people are okay. Alex, how come we couldn't turn the lights off? How come we couldn't maybe not have some time lapse footage for 10 seconds? Did you uh, try to get out? It was days. You didn't need time lapse footage of days. I, I, I... I I don't understand. You could have had time-lapse footage with the lights off. Yes! Wait, what? Did you uh, try to get out? Yes! What? I was starting to calculate. Um, oh, I don't know if I could do 30. Uh, uh, how much uh, can I... Well, how, how can I manage to get out of here sooner uh, and still have a video and still uh, have some cash and... Um... It's, it's a crazy idea also. There's a famous parable... Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is just in like a, a Judaism thing that because I've heard this ever since I was a kid. It's like a very famous parable. Um, I don't know if other if it's only famous in like Judaism world, but um, there's a king that gets his life saved by someone by a peasant or whatever. And uh, in order to to reward this peasant for saving his life, um, he he asked his advisors how he could reward this peasant. And his advisor said, listen, we have an idea for you to reward him in a way that's incredibly grandiose and huge of you, but without you taking such a big loss. And the king said, I think this, is, this, this isn't a true story. It's just, an, you know, it's just a parable. And so um, he, says, he says to, the, to this peasant that saved him, he says, I'm going to give you two sticks. The first stick you plant in the ground, and the second stick you walk as far as you can. And wherever you plant the second stick in the ground, you get to keep... You get to keep everything that all the land from the first stick to the second stick you get to keep you get to keep all that land the peasants like elated so excited about all this and so he puts the first stick in the ground and he starts walking to put the second stick and after he walks for a while he's thinking well should i put it here and he says no 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 i'm not going to and he keeps going 
And like, should I put it here? It's like, oh God, but I could keep going. Like if I put it here, I'm literally stopping myself from, from all the other future, I can walk another 10 miles tomorrow. And then he walks another 10 miles. And then he's like, okay, I could put it here. And he's like, oh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it here because I, I could walk another 10 miles tomorrow. And he ended up dying from exhaustion before ever putting that second stick in the ground, right? It's just an example. It's a fucking, um, it's a parable. But like, I am getting that vibe here. It's like, he's stuck in solitary confinement for, for two weeks. And he's like, I need this money. So every single day I wait, I'm making another $10,000, $10,000. And it's like, it's a psychological mind fuck. Every day that he decides he's gonna stop, He's literally losing all this money, right? It's just a story of greed, all that. But, but like, it is real psychological torture. Like, how do you leave this tournament, this challenge, when you need the money? Get the plug, man. I, I just, I just, I did. Since we we're doing time lapse shots, and since they insisted on time lapse shots, I said, all right, we're gonna do time lapse shots. Bet. I put my, I put my YouTube on on with the whiteboard they gave me. <laughs> he shouted himself out because well he's being paid an exposure here too right so he wrote his name of his youtube channel i was like all right yeah scrub, go ahead and scrub that footage you know you got that whiteboard oh, oh no either that goes in or this footage is unusable and wow fuck they weren't willing to use the footage because he had his youtuber his youtube t name in it and then you know james warren came in and erased it you know fucking, you know, don't, don't put that don't, hey we can torture him don't you dare let him get a plug in there you This is crazy. This they didn't let be included. Guys, stop arguing about how you can't make borders with two sticks. It's a parable, okay? God damn it. You know? Uh, so, uh, it, like we were playing up the joke, you know? It's like, oh, I'm the boy in the cage, you know, whatever. Like I'll play into a joke, whatever, it's fine. It's just something weird about when Jimmy jokes. I have uh, Jim, I, like I, I showed you that clip of Jimmy joking with Tommy in it. Like this is the best burger you've ever had, right? Like ha ha ha. Jokes about my dad because I love jokes with my dad. I'll joke with my dad all the time. I guess piece of shit. Hey, my dad. Damn. I have friends that make fun of my dad. That's fine because I know their intent. I know where they're coming from. When Jimmy joked with my dad, and I said that to seem weird. I don't like it. How we were doing that one of those hide and seek videos again. You know, at the time they were a lot realer. Uh, so I got caught, and when you get caught, you know you go to the you go to you go to the place where you get caught. And uh, I, I don't know if there's footage of this. I don't know if you know, I, don't, I definitely didn't make the final cut. Uh, but he he says to me, uh, "All right, you're going to jail. You know, like your dad." That's a joke. That's a joke. He made with him. You're going to jail just like your dad who he fucking hates for being a child sex offender. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Lamau. That's a joke. These people aren't, like, that's not human. That's, like, actually inhuman. That That is sociopath shit. This is fucking Homelander shit. I'm shaking right now. I can't imagine how traumatized this guy is to even talk about this. And like, it's a joke. Yeah, sure. But when my my friends do it, it's fine. And, and Jimmy just wasn't my friend. He was my boss. Yeah. And that wasn't cool. And so now. And he hates him. He he hates this this guy. <laughs> I'm locked in a cage at his whim. And I have to do things to get the cash I need to live. And I got these cameras on me all the time. And he can't sleep. <sighs> and he can't sleep. And he has the cameras, and it stinks, and there's paint fumes. And he has no choice but to fucking uh, smile for the camera and say, Thank you, Mr. Beast, for giving me the money to pay for my student loans. Thank you. And I was unwell. I had editors coming up to me. Said you good, bud? Nope. And I was like, he's in solitary confinement. They're violating the Geneva Convention. 
They're sleep depriving him and drugging him with paint fumes. He's not good. Yeah, why? You're clearly unwell. Uh, hey. They knew he was clearly unwell. He didn't get fucking medical professional or let him out or something. Because, uh, well, because the footage you're sending in is haunting. There was an actual fucking jigsaw movie made out of his footage. And they know that. Because I'm trying to be funny. And, and they're making, they're, their idea is they're putting him in here for 100 days, but they're going to make a 15 minute video out of it. But I am mentally <laughs> fed him in feastables and shit. Really decaying, so I'm doing bits. Someone said there is a horror cut uh, of a video in this. And I'm thinking, like, who's watching this? Like, who, who wants to see this? What is fun about this? The well, I'm sure you can find 13 minutes of fun torture thanking Mr. Beast for giving you money. Video. Worshipping the giant glowing cock of the beast. And so I, the thing that made me want to, I gotta get out. I can't do another day in here. And you just know Mr. Beast had a fucking sponsor for that. He was ready to roll out the... This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you want to not look like this guy in solitary confinement? Well, use my code in the description. That was a joke. Um, Jimmy comes in and uh, I'm asleep. I don't know what time it is. I don't know, it's like two or three or whatever. He's like, why is he sleeping? I don't know, because I can't sleep. And he comes in and he wakes me. He sees this guy sleeping in a room with no windows, no doors, n the lights on at all time. He finally falls asleep. Mr. Beast comes in. Why is he sleeping? It's two in the afternoon. We need footage. This doesn't feel like real life. This is the worst YouTube drama I've ever seen in my life. I, I, that was hyperbole, but this is insane. Yeah. Uh, and he goes, ask me why I have two briefcases. And I'm like, what are you? Oh my God, it's one of the, he comes in there with a fucking gimmick challenge. This guy is sending in haunting footage. He's fucking being tortured, sleep deprived. He comes in with two, two fucking uh, briefcases, getting ready for, 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 for a challenge video. Yeah, why do you have two briefcases? And he goes, oh, cause this, this one's for today, you know? And this one's for the challenge. And I go, what's the challenge today? He goes, you're gonna, you're gonna run a marathon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're gonna do the two, 22.6K, whatever it is. It's 26, but whatever. And you're gonna do it on that treadmill over there. The first challenge I did was a Rubik's Cube, and I'm not... Wait, they brought him a, they brought him, um, they brought, they, no sunlight either? Like, Marathon is not outside. It's not like in the prison yard. It's... They brought him a... A treadmill to his cell to run a marathon. I'm, I'm dyslexic. I'm dumb. I don't, I don't have to do Rubik's Cube. Uh, so your first challenge Rubik's Cube. I was like, oh, I don't want to do it. I was like, on oh, camera. I don't, I don't want to do it. He goes, just do it for the thing. Like, it why? why? Uh, but, like, it's crazy. It's like... I am paying you your money. I am owning you here. You must do the Rubik's Cube. And he has to! He has to do it! He must obey every one of his whims! Yeah, yeah. This is diabolical. Like, th th there was an element of, oh, Jake will do what we want because he's in-house. You know, that, that's one of the reasons why they got me. Uh, Jake's, uh, he's, he's an inside guy, so he'll, he'll do whatever. Yeah, he, he'll, he'll consent to being tortured. He'll do whatever goofy challenge we have for him. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we can push him a little extra hard because we know he's good. We know he's good. I couldn't say no to the, the treadmill thing. Yeah. So I, I, I... People who run marathons train forever and it's still you hard. You just run a marathon. After being in solitary confinement for however the fuck long he was in there, how many, however many weeks he was in there already, on sleep deprived and, and drugged on paint fumes and not having had a normal shower, like they expect him this guy to run a marathon on a treadmill like this is either the most elaborate torture the cia ever came up with or just fucking insane i i can't believe it dude why again my mindset's like all right this is where you say all right i'm out i'm not doing this challenge i give up let me go or i am fucking getting you arrested okay but uh, being in his mindset, needing the money, being pushed day to day. Again, writer. Do I look like I run? I don't run, you know? Oh, let alone God. a marathon, let alone train for it. So I was in a sunlightless 
you know, did you try to say no? Like, did you have a choice or? Based on the Rubik's Cube thing and based on all the other stuff, like they got a, there was so much pressure to just do it. Just do the thing, you know? You and they pressured the fuck out of him. And they pressured him into this. Obviously, he could have always left. He technically consented. But then you get up, and I, if, if I refuse, it's just, well, that's the whole video. I guess the budget's, you know, so much money up in flames. Right, and then they guilt trip the shit out of you. You're not going to do this thing. This thing is literally the linchpin of the video. If you don't do this thing, then everything was for nothing. Jake said he wouldn't want to do the thing. And so I wanted to be a good sport, and I wanted to get the boost and I want the cash. And so I start running at 12. Um, I, yeah, I was able to take some breaks and I, I asked him, how long do I have? He goes, until I get back. <laughs> Classic. And I'm, I'm running until 3 a.m. All right, I got off the treadmill. Oh my God. Oh, like the blisters I had on my feet were like, did you oh wouldn't believe? Just all over, just these big red, I couldn't, I couldn't walk. My, my, my muscles were like, just get the lactic acid. I, I, I got off the treadmill and then the people that came in to like ice my feet, you know, make sure I was good. Then that's when I was like, I'm done. I can't, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I mean, that's when I this is sick. This is sick. I, this is sick. Inhumane. Again, these are just allegations, okay? Not, I'm not making any claims here. These are just allegations at this time. But I, I don't think he's lying. He's heartbroken here. He's like actually heartbroken. He's crying all over the place. These are just allegations. But he knows that if they're fake, he's going to get sued to, to oblivion. Um, yeah, they get psych in and talk to psych about how I'm uh, not well. No shit. And, uh... <sighs> Like I said, there was a lot of good people over there that was saying, you got to pull him out. Yeah, I had friends uh, that did some freelance work. And uh, they, they would tell me, they'd be like, yeah, everyone knows you over there. Everybody loves you. They go, uh, oh, Jake, well, I love that guy. Shame what happened to him. Oh, my God. They talk about him like he was like he was a, a failed gladiator. What? Oh, love Jake Weddle. He's great. Shame what happened to him. Didn't come out the same. He's broken. Yeah, yeah. He, we tried to make him a dragon rider in Game of Thrones, but he didn't have enough high Valyrian blood, and the dragon just ate him. Like, that's how they're talking about him. Shame what happened to him. <laughs> like I'm a ghost. That's crazy. And I asked him, I said, I said, how much longer are you guys going to keep me in here? And the guy goes, realistically, like, at least seven more days? Oh my god. Feet blistered. I can't even imagine this. Uh, no. No. This is like the fucking Boeing whistleblowers that come out there and talk about Boeing. Like, I, I, I'm terrified. And I hope he's okay. I hope this Jake Weddle guy is fine. They let me leave right away either. They wanted to make sure, yeah, everything was fine. To make sure that he wouldn't talk. So I just, you know, slept for a while. They turned the lights off. <laughs> oh my god. He gave up. He finally said he can't do it. And then they turned the lights off. And uh, they, they brought, it's like they brought in all my friends, you know, to make it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this. They brought in all the people I liked and Jimmy. <laughs> Oh my god. And everybody dude. was around me making how, how do you even how can you even stand to look at that guy after this? I hate this so much. Make sure I was good, making sure I was okay. Make sure I was okay. He was not okay. Damn. But Jimmy had his like He was sitting in the chair turned around like an evil villain. Swear to god, everyone What the fuck? <laughs> I can't I can't believe this. Was it Jimmy B sitting, turned around after subjecting his employee to war crimes for the last three weeks? Like, someone was looking at me, and he was like Lex Luthor over there. And he turns around, you like cat, cat on his lap, and everything. Stands up. Oh, he did the, he does the exact same thing when he's pretending to have a human connection. You know when you're watching a video, and he's um. Oh God. He's like, oh stop! You're gonna make me cry. 
and he like touches his eye or whatever as if he's crying. He's not. He's just. Oh my god, dude! Actual fucking sociopath shit. <laughs> I didn't have to pretend to do that shit. Oh my god! See, here's the thing. These are all allegations. But I kind of believe him. She says, "Uh, you." Yeah. As as if rehearsed. And he knows he's getting sued for this. He knows he's getting sued for this. That's why I I would be surprised if he's lying. By his lawyers. Uh, yeah, you know, your mental health's the most important thing. You know, just want to make sure you're okay. And the last thing we want you to do is. I can. The last thing you want to do is sue. Is that what he was gonna say? I was here. The word sue come out of his mouth. The <gasps> S, he just, he just oh got her before it got out. Oh my god, they torture a man for three weeks and he's about to say the last thing we want you to do is sue? I, I did not get the 300k. But I got... Fuck. Uh, he goes, think of it this way. At least you get to keep what you earned. Is that a reward? Wasn't that the deal? Wasn't that literally the deal? Holy shit, Meat Canyon was on the money. You know, you were in there for XYZ days. You did XYZ challenges, so you got, you know, 100,000 some change, you know? What? Give or take. You know how much money I spent in taxes in, a, in, a, uh, in 2021? I spent $44,000 in taxes alone. Yeah, obviously you don't, you don't hear that part. That video never came out, so he wasn't even paid an exposure or anything either. And now, I spent all that money on doing stand-up. I just, I bought plane tickets to go do comedy festivals. You know, my family back home, I gave them a bunch of stuff that they needed. And I uh, haven't been back on a beast set in any official capacity or unofficial capacity uh, since then. And then uh, oh they did the video with somebody else, and they worked out the kinks. This is crazy. This is like the video Moist Critical made about the uh, the guy in Japan that was that was tortured. Wait, let me see if I can find that. Like this sounds exactly like that shit. I I'm like I, I can't believe this. I'm like floored. I'm floored that it, it got this far. Right, this video of uh, Moist Criticals, the most evil live stream ever, talking about this Japanese guy who was. Basically, kind of put like in a solitary confinement and had to work his way out. Like, ah, this is crazy. Japanese guy could turn the lights off. Nice. And then I'd still gotten some hot water, and I knew it would. And I've wanted to say a lot of this for a long, long, long time. I am sure he does. And. And how are you gonna ever do that? Right, you're gonna go up against Mr. Breast, worth billions, millions. I feel good though. That's how you get that off there. Oh my so I just God. want to hop in here and show some text that Jake sent me after this interview. This is July 29, 2021, a few days after he got out of uh, solitary. Prison. How are you feeling after a few days? Better. I still couldn't sleep even a few days out. Oh I almost God. have my sleep cycle back on track. My legs and joints are good, but the blisters on my feet still hurt to walk on. Medical advice I got was not to lance them and just let them go away with time. I'm mentally still in an uneasy place, but I've gotten back on better help my therapist is a little concerned, but we are working on things. And this was a text he sent in 2021. Minor, this is not supposed to be a traumatic life event. This is supposed to be a... Uh, Fun Mr. Beast video for kids to have a good time watching and sell chocolate. Mr. Beast video. Hey, Jake, hope you're doing okay. Meg and I just wanted to check in on you. Hey, I'm good, and I appreciate that. I'm not exactly 100%. I feel like mentally I'm still recovering a bit, but back in therapy, and my therapist is concerned. Haha, -ha, but my legs and... <laughs> my therapist is concerned. Like, this was an actual... This is fucking Vietnam War PTSD. I, I can't believe it. Joints feel better. Like, I can walk, but my feet are still covered on... Those blisters and those hurt to walk oh, on. Oh, good, he can walk. But I was told the best thing to do is stay off my feet and let them heal. I'm in rally with my family. Also, it'll be like a month before I get the money, and they aren't giving me all the money. They are giving me what I won up to that point in oh the game, my God. which was also a slap in the face. But hey, I'm out. I'm alive. He's like, can't even complain that I was uh, <laughs> that I didn't get all the money that I thought I was going to be getting because, well, at least I survived can't walk and my therapist is worried but i'm alive 
therapist who knows and cares about you. The whole thing was so fucked, and honestly, fuck them for not giving you the money. Meg and I are wishing you the best with your recovery, and please feel free to reach out if you need anyone to talk to or need a place to crash in New York. Hope you're doing well, man. That video you uploaded is money. So good. I appreciate. I'm doing better physically. Mentally, I'm still kind of in a place. I still can't sleep. I've oh slept five God. hours in the past three days, marathon included. I don't know what's wrong with me. Lots of thinking too much, one might say. Hope they're taking care of you where they can. I mean, I was kind of shocked they didn't pay me for the full 25, 30 days. They paid me what I made up to that point. Like even when we have to pull the plug for my mental health, the mechanism of the game is still at play. I'm just happy to be out. I still can't walk well, but it hurts less. And like I'm Today, we are making a video to test the limits of the human psyche. Here's my host, Jake Weddle. I'm not famous enough to burn a bridge. So at the end of the day, I'm still Jimmy's bitch. True. Like if I was Carl and he did that to me, I'd ruin him. Oh shit. And Jake never had some sort of platform or audience that would believe him or, you know, accelerate his story. He's just a guy with allegations and no proof, right? and they want to do it again, that could be your leverage. If the guy breaks down also, two is better than one. Yeah, right, I told them everything they did to me that they can't do again in order to make sure the other person doesn't break down as fast. But like, the way the video is meant to function is the problem. It's a bad idea, full stop. It sounds clickbaity, sounds right up Jimmy's alley, but it's morally unethical like on every level. Yeah. Off camera breaks, lights off at night, visitation, take the marathon out. Marathon is a video in itself. You can't expect someone to exert themselves like that for 45 seconds of content. It's true. If you think about it, like just trying to picture it, like you give someone marathon as a challenge and it's just, it's 45 seconds of content in the actual video that this man literally tortured himself for hours. <laughs> the challenges really made it feel dehumanizing. Felt like a parody of Mr. Beast. I felt like the homeless guy they could exploit. Oh it my felt God. like of Jeff Bezos had a gimp. It felt like if Jeff Bezos had a gimp, part of me wants the footage burned means, and part of me but... thinks that there's a great horror cut in there. LMAO, he was so fake when he came in and said he cared about my mental health. They must have programmed the care about mental health updates. Uh, he said, we also <clears throat> don't want you to, s and I swear to our Lord and savior, he stopped himself from saying Sue. Also, as far as like, he could have said no, he could have left at any time. I want to show the segment from uh, an internal document at Mr. Beast called How to Succeed in Mr. Oh shit, internal doc time, oh no. Beast production, specifically on page 19, there's a paragraph called no fuck? does not mean no. Just on the headline, just on the headline, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh my God, wait, what? already insane uh because it's sort of it seems to be co-opting the popular anti rape slogan yeah you know the the no means no which is a slogan to say you should not in fact rape people great play on words there jimothy um which is a terrible look given the allegations that are going to be coming out very soon oh god hype for part three hype we're only in the second stage we're only on the sociopath arc don't worry, guys. We're only talking about little things like potential war crimes. I reads, when dealing with people outside Mr. Beast Productions, never take no at face value. What? If we need a store to buy everything inside of, and you can call the local Dollar Tree, and the person that answers says, no, you can't film here, that literally doesn't mean shit. What the fuck? This is just this is a document on how to how to harass people to get them to submit to your content ideas. Talk to other employees and see if they are fans or if any have kids that are fans. Try talking to their boss, their boss's boss. Have Find out if their children are fans of your content to get them to manipulate their parents into letting you ha trash their store. Let me DM them on Twitter and try their social team. If all avenues are exhausted and you are left with a no, that doesn't mean don't- Dude, why is Chad saying he's not ready for Delaware? What did they do in Delaware? Bruh. Try the other Dollar Trees because the manager of those could be huge fans and willing to bend the rules. Basically what I'm trying to convey is what we call pushing through no. <laughs> pushing through no. Oh, this is not real. Don't stop 
because one person told you no. Stop when all conceivable options are exhausted. This is one of many tools that when combined- you, if, you, if you have not yet tried roofing your opponents, not all options have been exhausted. Have you tried blackmail and extortion? Oh no, then you're not ready to stop yet. Mind dramatically improve your probability of success when producing here. So, so yeah, this idea of like pushing through nose is a big component to, to working at Mr. Beast. Oh, that's um, huge. Great. And push, push through nose, guys. Push through nose. Wait, what do you mean? You didn't say you didn't. You were being tortured and you wanted out. You were pushing through the no. And, and the way that it manifests itself a lot of the time is like a director might tell a producer, hey, we need um, access to 30 acres of farmland. By is he speaking from personal experience right now? Is this is this insider info? Tuesday or we lose half a million dollars. Now, if you're the producer, you obviously know that means get it done or you lose your job. So, so right, right, true, true. So what can happen is like a producer's calling up farmers saying, hey, I need to use your land. And the farmer might be like, okay, but you know, I have animals, you can't be making really loud noises, no pyrotechnics, and you got to clean everything up. All right. So the producer's sort of incentivized to lie and say, or maybe the producer doesn't even <gasps> actually know. The Wait, what? Hold on. They would go to a farmer and be like, yo, we need to use your land. And the farmer will be like, yeah, sure, but don't use any fire or no loud noises because that ruins the animals. And uh, and he's and they're like, oh, sure, absolutely not. And then they do it anyway. Total contents of the video, right? Things change last second. So they're very... You didn't expect to explode shit on your property, but well... They're like, they're financially incentivized to be manipulative and sort of... They're put in positions where it's like... Oh, it's either the producer's job or a civilian's job. Like where it talks about, hey, maybe the what? manager would be willing to bend the rules. Well, you shouldn't really be pressuring civilians to bend the rules that could get them fired, you know? Yeah, I'll show no you shit. a real life example. This is unused evidence from um, part one. I had seen this Reddit post uh, titled, Mr. Beast leaving trash behind and debris at film site. In yeah, he talked about this when he got interviewed by Oompaville. That's crazy. Aiden, North Carolina. Apparently he left a large boat in a pond as well as debris around the film site in the bottom of the pond weeks and weeks after the agreed time frame. This actually rendered it unsafe for campers and almost delayed the camp's opening date multiple times due to not being able to get in contact with Mr. Beast to get the stuff cleaned up out of the area. Uh, so I actually know that this is from a Mr. Beast video called Protect the Yacht, Keep It, uh, where at the end of that video, he actually right. says, Yes, we did ensure the lake was completely cleaned up after this video. For the love of God, subscribe so we can... So at the end of his video, he says, Yes, of course, we ensured that it's clean. When in actuality, it was not clean. <laughs> what? The past yeah. To sink the yacht. What is going on? The irony, the Niji Sanji irony. Yeah, so he says at the end of the video that they made sure it was cleaned up. I was actually on site um, oh, for part of this production. I, I was at this info. camp. So I decided to send an email out to the <gasps> camp. He got info from the camp itself! My name is James. I'm a journalist currently investigating incidents with Mr. Beast. I was informed Mr. Beast filmed a video at the camp. Unfortunately, I heard blah, blah, blah. Hey, James, thank you for reaching out. I'm this and this guy. The casting crew hosted it in March. Working with the producers was a blessing. They communicated frequently, sure. All right, all right. Basically saying, hey, I heard these rumors. I'm, I'm investigating a similar incidents. Uh, and the camp responded, uh, actually not denying the claims, going on to say, I am sure that there are no perfect film productions just as there are no perfect people. I am uh -huh. grateful for the opportunity that we had to host the production. Wink, 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 wink. There are no perfect people out there. Yeah, I'd say. crew, And because grace or forgiveness has been offered to me so freely, I will choose to offer the same. So clearly alluding to the fact that there was a wrongdoing on on. It's like, because I am forgiven for my sins, I will forgive them of their sins. What sins are you referring to? By Mr. Beast's production team. And that's like sort of the thing is, if you're around Greenville, you know these stories of people working with Mr. Beast and it being extremely unprofessional, them not doing what they say, but they uh -huh. sort of get by a lot on their, their good public image. Yeah, because they give so much charity, guys. If they fuck up, this must be a rare thing because of all the charity. And like, I mean, this camp offered to to host them completely for free. And I guarantee, like, if you went to the the lake at the camp and you, and you went magnet fishing, like, you, you'd find all sorts of debris that's still there to this day. Like, Yikes. They, they didn't clean it all up. So in the case of Jake Weddle, like, I'm sure that there were producers who were in a position of, hey, if Jake gets out early, we don't have a video and your job is at risk. So... So he's so they would tell the producers themselves 
yo, your job might be at risk if Jake decides to leave. Like, we might fire you if Jake quits on your watch. Because we'd have to scrap the video. There's a tremendous amount of pressure on top of like him being delirious from not sleeping and, and everything to, to just manipulate him into staying. Which, which, you know, I'm sure this isn't like technically against the Geneva Convention on torture because he- Yeah, because he ultimately did consent. Wasn't technically a prisoner. Like he could have left at any time, but because of yeah. the extreme pressure to stay in, it's not really a reasonable expectation. Yeah, the joke is though, like, I don't know a lot of people that are like, well, I technically, according to the fine print, didn't violate the Geneva Convention. Like, that's not a thing that people say, right? <laughs> technically, according to the fine print, I technically didn't commit a genocide, but, uh... That he could have just, you know, walked out. Because of the implication. I think Jimmy is a awkward kid who maybe, yeah, had it a little rough growing up. I can't speak on that, but I do have empathy for it. Uh, Cause I, you know, had it rough growing up, and I think when you're hyper fixated on something, like I, I love stand up, he loves YouTube, everyone, you know, fixates on a thing. Yeah. You know, I think he just wanted to be the best YouTuber so bad, and because the industry's metrics, you know, rewarded yeah, some not great saying. behavior. The, the metrics, everything rewards the not great behavior. The crazier stunt, the crazier torture, the crazier reaction. It's what I've been saying about the Logan Paul shit. If you're just going on autopilot based on what the numbers say, you know, you, you can do some things that maybe aren't good, but reap reward. And I think Jimmy just did what the industry and maybe what the system that we have set up demanded. Yeah. And he didn't care who got hurt and i think jimmy surrounded himself with really really not so great people and those people were the ones making the decisions and i want to say really important there are so many good people that work at mr beast who are damn good at their jobs like when Jimmy comes in and asks for something impossible, it's these people's jobs to do it. And they it sh they shouldn't be able to make it happen, and they do. Oh my god, this is so and sad. So, I, I can't believe how badly this video fucked me mentally. I, I was so not ready for it to be this, this hard, this hard hitting. I don't think people wanted to talk about stuff because I didn't want my friends to lose their jobs. I don't care about my fucking job. I'll buy in the hole. I don't care. But I don't want my friends to lose their jobs. You know? I don't want anyone's reputation to be fucked. You know? But uh, just let's just go back to my dad for a second, if I may. My dad was uh, this, you know, like a swim coach. Uh, your neighborhood swim team. Everybody, everybody loved. Him. Everybody loved it. Behind closed doors is a real piece of shit. And so yeah. when stuff starts hitting the fan, what him? No. Surely. Surely he couldn't be a, a pedophile, surely. And then, you know, everyone, you know, thought my mom was the bitch, you know, for not, you know. But then the news broke, you know, that he did what he did to one of the students of the team. Oh, God, dude. And it's like when that comes out, you're not surprised, you know? You just go, when I, when I saw my dad in the news, I said, Oh, you idiot. Like, I was like, no, I was, oh, d dumbass, god damn it. Uh, but I wasn't surprised. And it was just a consequence that's happened to somebody who was really good at avoiding them for a long time. And this poor guy. Yeah, yeah. I think that that it's like when everyone thinks you're a good guy and then the news breaks of the, the awful shit you did and everyone's opinions just 180. Like, that is wild. That is wild shit. That's kind of what happened with Mr. Beast about, a, you know, two weeks ago with, like, the Chris Tyson stuff and then, then this. Like, it, it was just that, that moment where people just kind of, like, the veil was pulled from over our eyes to some extent. Like, I knew he faked videos in the past. Didn't think that, that it went this fucking far, that he would torture people and shit. And I don't know. Everybody, everybody loves Jimmy. And behind Not closed anymore. doors, he is not super great. And... That image is 
cultivated purposefully and intentionally. And it's branding, it's marketing, it's, it's YouTube. Okay, so I guess, yeah, just one final question on sure. a serious note. Uh, obviously, the Ava Chris Tyson drama. Yeah, and, um, right. You know, that's that. a known issue of traditional media. Uh, did you... <laughs> Zoom into this guy's nipples. What the fuck is the cam What's the camera guy doing? To hear uh, about any uh, sexual misconduct at the company? It's crazy. I, I probably hung out with Ava the most out of the main cast uh, just because uh, I was on Beast Hacks. Uh, right. Now Beast Reacts. I don't know if it's still out. Uh, that was a lot of fun because it was just you know being silly and goofy in front of the camera. And right. uh, Ava was the only person who was willing to film. Everybody else was too busy or didn't want to. And I was just trying to do my job. Sometimes there'd be like an offhanded joke. That's a little gross. I mean, I'm a stand-up, so I'm very desensitized yeah. to that. Yeah, for the most part, when when there's like a, a joke, you don't take it too seriously, right? You try at least, if it sounds like a joke, that is. I didn't hear anything that was like, whoa, that's crazy. Like when I saw, the reason I messaged you instead of talking to reporters sweetly like I have been was when I saw the Discord stuff for the, I never, because when I, when I got there, it was like 2019, so... I guess if the timelines add up, that would have been like handled for lack of a better term. And then they, and then they started bringing more people on, you know, maybe they thought they had that under the rug, you know, but, all right, we handled that. Now let's bring in some writers, you know? Um, and when I saw it, all that stuff started coming out and the potentiality as of this moment of recording, you know, I know this has been happening fast and stuff has been coming out so fast. Uh, just the potential that, Jimmy could have been in those Discord chats. Oh God! Or even the potential that he participated in those Discord chats. Because that's like that's not you can't just blame that in. Oh, he got tunnel vision to become the best YouTuber. Oh, he just got tunnel vision to to go crazy on being a YouTuber guy. Like this is fucked up and personal, right? Like being in those Discord chats and appropriately talking to minors. Like, whoo! That's. That's not, oh, but I give charity, right? That's, that's That doesn't work. After the shit he did to me. I'm sure every time someone was wronged by Mr. Beast, they also, they, they kind of did what he did. Like on the one hand, they were incentivized to be nice to him publicly because otherwise they, maybe they'll get future opportunities. And secondly, um, everyone probably thinks they're an exception. Like, oh, he's not a very nice guy, but like, he fucked up when it comes to me. That's probably what people thought. Then once the, the, you know, the mask comes off with the Chris Tyson stuff, and you're like, oh, Mr. Beast knew about and was defending a alleged predator. Like, whoa, that's not, that's not me. That's not me blaming myself. That's not me who was wronged accidentally. If you're going to make fun of my dad. That's right. He made fun of this guy's dad for being a predator. Meanwhile, Mr. Beast is defending alleged predators on his own squad. I don't care what happens to me and my career and reputation after this. I had to. I had to say some stuff. Oh, so. shit. Like he—he he looks like he was. They wronged him. They wronged this man. They wronged this man. Whatever happens, happens at this point. Uh, outside of it, Chris Tyson, did you really send me or hear about any sexual misconduct at the company? I've heard rumors. I can't confirm or deny anything. I don't have any tangible evidence, but I've heard stuff uh -oh. that I, uh -oh. I, I, if it could be investigated, that'd be great. But oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. This is the, I don't know the whole story, but. It's like water cooler talk, but I've heard things. Yes, of course. I heard, you know, people have been let go for sexually assaulting some very young people. The idea that what Dude. Jimmy didn't know, or that Jimmy oh please was covering stuff up. He didn't want stuff to come out. You Obviously. know, he's very careful about his image. Yeah, you know the tangible proof that he knew but covered it up. Yeah, you know, how do you prove that? You know, well there was a known. Is this what happened in Delaware? Is that what everyone in chat is talking about? Like, 
I am so confused. Why are you calling it the Delaware incident? What the fuck? This isn't Jujutsu Kaisen. Sex offender. Registered sex offender. Convicted sex offender. What? Why are they blurring this? On the registry and everything. Wait, 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 wait. Registered sex offender. Well, there was a known sex offender. Registered sex offender. Convicted sex offender. On the registry and everything. Who worked there? He imp He employed a registered sex offender on his team? Promoted to children? Confirmed? Like what? W why is this blurred? This was done by the YouTube blur too. Like this wasn't done before it was uploaded. This was somehow blurred after the upload, right? This looks like the YouTube blur. And like you can, you know, someone pees in public, you're on the registry, you know, you, you get it. You can still have a job after you're on the, you, that, that's not one, that's one thing. You know, you go to prison, you get rehabilitated, that's one thing. You know, like if you do your time, that's fine. I, I think there should be read the rehabilitation in this country. Mm -hmm. But that guy, from what I hear, I, I can't confirm or deny. From what oh I hear, God, oh Lord, he's on the registry for doing some not great stuff to some underage people. And this guy was this guy was hired after this. He was hired by the Mr. Beast team, literally to become an idol to children everywhere, to hang out with child fans. And they knew that and he's working at a channel that has underage people on and around and is targeted to underage people. Dude, they, they sell. Freaking little figurines of the Mr. Beast characters. You have kids buying the figurines or shit of Mr. Beast characters when... Oh, God. And they covered up the fact that not only did he work there, okay. but he was like the manager when it all started. Oh, oh, he wasn't just like some guy. Oh, the guy that makes thumbnails is a pedophile. No, 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 no. Wait, and this happened in Delaware? And you know that he knew and because he'll be in videos. He'll be in thumbnails. The guy with the mask? Ain't no fucking way he wore a mask in his video so you wouldn't notice that he was a registered pedophile. I'm, I'm like, I'm disgusted. I'm actually going to throw up. He's, he'll be around, and whenever he, he, he is, he's wearing a mask. Why would you wear a mask? Why would you? Oh my God! He even mentions it. Conceal your face. Oh like you, God! What, what are you concealing? That you are a registered sex offender, and that your face can be looked up on a thing? How oh much God. more can you literally cover? So like they all knew this. Like this this wasn't some some sort of random secret that no one in the crew knew about. He managed to get away. Like they knew about it to the point that he wore a mask on videos. of a sex offender with a physical mat like do i have to is, how, is it more on the nose or <laughs> like when i was talking about cover-ups i was talking about how he edited 83 of his old videos i wasn't talking about how they literally covered the face of a pedophile so you wouldn't notice i, I don't know why they let him go because there's there's jimothy epstein over here fucking going crazy that was a joke God damn. Rumors back and forth. You know, so I don't know why they let him go, but he did leave at one point. Even if that guy didn't do anything, they still knew about it and he was still around. And what if he's one of the people in the Discord servers? What if he's not? I don't know. You never know. You never know what happens in the Discord servers. You never know. But when I was there, they called him Delaware. Oh, his name was Delaware. That's why everyone kept saying Delaware, Delaware, because they called him Delaware. Okay. Why, why, why do you call him Delaware? I didn't, I didn't know. Apparently, they called him Delaware because he's not allowed to go back to Delaware. <gasps> His nickname was the place that he fucked a kid? And, like, they, that was, they called him, like, 
Like, as, as a term of endearment, they would call... <gasps> I, 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 I've, I'm shaking. Oh, my God. That's his nickname? Colloquially? Like, you know, yeah, it's Delaware. Don't ask him why, you know? <laughs> the fuck? And Jimmy Newman? This is, this is awful. Brothers, get the heavy flamer! We got some heretics to purge, brothers! We need some heavy flamers for this heresy! The, the likelihood that he didn't know is astronomically low. Yeah, right. He might not have known, guys. He might have. They might have just hoodwinked Jimothy over here. They might have. They might have just hoodwinked him. Delaware, eat fucking Jimothy. So finally, I have a recorded phone conversation. The person on the other end of this line is a a different former Mr. Beast employee, uh, talking about Delaware. Oh shit. Um, also, apparently, before this phone conversation got recorded, the person on the other end of the line said that the Mr. Beast team was actually trying to expunge Delaware's record. Trying to expunge the record of a self of pedophile? A convicted pedophile? I, I can't I can't even believe it. Why would you want to expunge the record? You want you want to cover up this shit so that people can't trace it back to you? Meanwhile, this guy is gonna get off scot free. <laughs> Brothers, one heavy flavor isn't enough. <laughs> uh, off the registry, and that's what actually like sparked this person to start recording. Oh yeah, shit wants to stay anonymous. Well, he he was good for the company, so in our defense, boys. We expunged the pedophile. Oh, he was great for business. Oh yeah, he was he was really good for business. Oh hell yeah, dude. Oh hell yeah. Reed, Reed, who's Reed? Alright. Are these allegations if he's registered though? And if you were to do anything in the affidavits or testimonials from people, yeah, you would very quickly because one of those people are going to go back and say it. Okay, so Reed is Mr. Reese's former manager who was in the last video telling right. Jimmy, you know, hey, don't promote gambling to children. Oh, Reed is the guy that told Mr. Beast not to promote the loot box scam that Jake Paul did and, and Rice Gum. This is also the Reed that fired the pedophile. Bro, keep this man. Keep this man. Oh my God. <laughs> what the freak? Oh my God. Children, uh, so, you know, I think I think Reed's taken uh, two W's this month, you know, yeah. like, don't promote gambling to children and uh, don't have offenders on payroll. Also, yeah, just from where I'm sitting, it seems extremely unlikely that Jimmy wouldn't know, but... Yeah, please, come on, dude. Come on, dude. The, the thing is, when it comes to big YouTubers, a lot of people think that, oh, they're so big, they don't know what's going on. They know exactly what's going on, okay? When, when I get fucking hate threads on Twitter, and I'm not even on Twitter, I have other people tell me about the hate threads that I get on Twitter. I don't love it when they tell me about it, to be honest, because who cares? But I know about it. You're going to tell me that Mr. Beast's manager was a registered pedophile? Listen, I don't know if this is true. This is what he's saying. I didn't do the research myself. But you're telling me that that happened and and he didn't know? But, you know, I know that that's, I'm sure that's the defense he'll go with. So I'll just say preemptively, like, you know, yeah, sure. The Mr. Beast defense is going to be, I didn't know about that. Just like Mr. Beast didn't know about Chris Tyson. If somehow Jimmy didn't know about Delaware, I think... It's still negligent as shit to hire this guy. It's still 
such an extreme level of negligence. Like what you're not doing background checks. You're not everyone at your company knows, but somehow you don't know. Yeah, that's sussy. Your two soft brothers execute with flames from the sky by the name of the Emperor. He will say be sent back to the warp. Oh my god, dude. An innocent verdict is guilty of wasting my time. Um, I, I think that needs more of an explanation than just saying, I didn't know. Well, how didn't you know? How, how did this person get into the company and, and you know, a company that makes content for children and, yeah. and is around children? So yeah, Jimmy, I think we need an explanation from you or, or you know, your, your lawyers and, and PR people and representatives and spokespersons. And, um, there are no pedophiles in Basing <laughs> City. On how Ooh. you could have not known that there was an offender uh, at a high level in your company. And while you respond to that, why not just respond to the allegations of, of rigging contest videos and selling fake signatures, running illegal lotteries. Uh, well, I guess it's a good thing that Mr. Beast didn't uh, respond to the first video because if he would respond to the first videos, then that is very, very bad. This is crazy. I am wild. I'm wilded out here. Uh, did Dog Pack say anything on Twitter when all this, all this going down? Um, you know the the dangerous conditions on the set of Beast Games. You should address those too. Uh, so yeah, just uh, just let us know. Okay, that was my. Okay, it does it does seem like this is why he cut it out of his video. Regarding the offender in my video, please do not post his address. Do not harass me as a family. All right, I respect that honestly. This is insane. I interview with former Mr. All right, the conclusion, baby, the conclusion. So the four lover boy, so the five pedophile. Wop, 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 wop. Beast employee Jake Weddle. I, I, I know he will be coming out with a uh, longer cut of this interview as well as other content. Um, so I just wanted to shout him out. Jake yeah. Weddle, top link in the description. <laughs> He never even got that shout out by being tortured by Mr. Beast. He got a shout out. <laughs> he, he like <laughs> Mr. Beast didn't shout him out after torturing him in solitary confinement for weeks. Check out Jake Weddle, guys, bro. He he de deserves it. Hey, welcome back to the- This guy. Oh shit, he just uploaded the real reason I left Mr. Beast. Oh shit. Oh my god. <sighs> I've waited a long time to talk about a lot of this publicly, so thank you for doing what you're doing. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, this one was a lot to unpack, not gonna lie. Now, uh... Guys! Guys! I'm just saying, just saying, guys. It's, it's all allegations at this time. No accusations. But those tears were real tears. God damn it. And part three is coming soon. Anyway, we're going to stay on this story, obviously, because, listen, I, I am all for embracing the chaos and, and laughing at the tragedy that goes on, but I am shaking. I did not expect it to be this bad. So... Uh, thank you all for being here. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on Kick. Stay weird, fam.